truly an end to a legacy, a gaming legacy, Nintendo Power, a magazine that us as gamers have known about for years and years since it was introduced back in 88. I mean, it's been around for such a very long time as one of the main reasons why so many people were able to get through tough-ass stages in all their NES and Super NES games. It was reasons why people knew about all the upcoming games that were coming out, and they were able to go and submit art and read through all the little articles in the comment section and go and read the comics and stuff like that, and it was just an all-around really badass magazine. It really was. And it's a part of a lot of our livelihood, especially for anybody that's like in their 20s or later. I mean, we grew up on this shit and that was before the advent of the internet and everything but it is it's all coming to a halt and it will cease to be this december it's going to be the final month the final issue that nintendo power will be out and honestly it makes me just kind of heartbroken to a certain degree which may sound kind of silly to some people because well, like well it's just a magazine what's a big deal but it you know it's it's one of those things that you know you're used to seeing there all the time. You go to a store, you see a Nintendo Power magazine, you can get and read it. You know, if you have a subscription, it comes in the mail. You're used to it coming in the mail. You're always used to it being in a mailbox, picking up, going through it and everything. You used to send down on the shitter and everything, going and dropping the kids off at the pool, reading through some articles and whatnot. I mean, there's tons of other video game magazines that are out there, but Nintendo Power was special. It was truly special for all of us growing up. You know, when I was growing up, I read a slew of magazines in addition to it. I read Electronic Gaming Monthly, I read Game Pro, I read Game Fan, I read Tips and Tricks, I read EGM2, um, there's a, t oh, uh, PSM, uh, the official PlayStation magazine, uh, there, there's just a bunch, but I, I read a ton of them. But Nintendo Power was always in a league of its own, you know, it was the Nintendo magazine. It, it was just very cool, but, it, you know, it was especially cool to me whenever I was little because, you know, all those walkthroughs that it had, that was one of the main reasons why I always thought it was neat. And a, lo a lot of people, when they reminisce about it, talk about the awesome covers it had, and it did. It had absolutely epic covers throughout the entirety of it. Most other game magazines, they couldn't even hold a candle to it. PSM uh, had some cool ones, but nobody... Nobody, nobody could touch the Nintendo Power magazines. I'd love the living shit out of them, but yeah, it, it is. It, it kind of sucks. I mean, it, it's something that I've pretty much been prepared to see happen just because magazines have been dying off left and right because of the internet. You know, it's been there and you can get your information immediately and everything. Why do you want to wait for an entire month? That's what most consumers' mindset is. Why would I wait a month when I can go and get the reviews immediately and get the news immediately and get walkthroughs online and uh, immediately and, you know, it, it's all about get it now. And that's completely understandable. You don't want to have to wait around. But I started thinking, you know, if it's going to end, how should it end? I mean, naturally, it should end on a high note. And I started thinking, why doesn't Nintendo just uh, make NintendoPower.com? I mean, they do have the website, but I'm talking about make an online version of this. I would like to see all the people that work at Nintendo Power continue to have jobs and, you know, actually be able to go and keep putting content out. Because to be honest, all that stuff is really neat. You know, they can make little 3D versions that you can get on the 3DS and read them on there. Might be a little bit annoying just because, you know, it's, it's on smaller screen, but it would still be cool. Make it so that you can get on uh, the iPad on all tablets and everything like that. I think that'd be awesome. Or you can make very limited edition versions of uh, some of the bigger magazines, you know, special edition ones, and make them Club Nintendo rewards that people could go and uh, try to obtain. That would be very neat, something like that. I, I would just like to see this continue. I don't want it to just abruptly stop and that's it. You know, I, I don't want December to just be the end of it because it can still continue forth despite the advent of the internet and all of its many awesome things that it can go and make available to you immediately, just at a couple clicks and at your fingertips. But Nintendo Power, I do want to see it live on, you know. It, I, I, I heart it, you know, big time. I have a heart on for it. I know many of you have been pretty bummed out about it because ever since I got the news about it, I was like, holy shit, uh, damn. <laughs> you know, it... it when it's something you're like, you know, it, it will end one day, but when it's actually made official, they actually have a date set in stone, just like, th this is the end, then it's just like, fuck it, it's actually wrapping up. So, ever since 1988, so that's, that's, a, that's a nice little robust life. It sucks that we won't see it go into 2013, but it can live on. Let, let's hope that it can. Let's cross our fingers and hope that it can. You know, but... 
And for you, what are some memories that all of you have when it comes to Nintendo Power? Or did you even read Nintendo Power? You might be watching this, but like, I didn't even read a single fucking issue of that. But if you did, go ahead and reminisce about it. I know that uh, quite a, a few of my watchers are heavily into it. Also, uh, Billy from the Game Chasers, he made a video about it. So I know that he's very big into it because he actually has a nice collection of Nintendo Power magazines. Big ups to you, man. But it is. It's, it's the end of an era. A very important era to gaming in general. But... It could live on. Let's hope that it does. Let's hope that Nintendo actually hears these kind of words and decides to go forth with something like that. You know, I would, I would be really happy, and I know many of you out there would be very happy to see something like that as well. So, this, you know, it, it's a sad day, but, you know, anytime that you're going and you're thinking about the end of something, you, you shouldn't really be sad about how it's ending. You should really just rejoice on all the awesome that it brought you throughout the entirety that it was around. You know, the same could be said at funerals. You want to go and celebrate the life of the person, not the death. So that's how I'm going to go about with this is I'm just going to reminisce about all the awesome stuff that I had. And, you know, it, it fucking bothers the shit out of me that I don't have all my old Nintendo powers from when I was little. I don't even have any of the video game magazines from when I was little. There's a lot of stuff you wish that you held on to, and it's like, fuck! So, yeah, that kind of stuff happens. But if you have any memories whatsoever, just things that you want to talk about, you can talk about them down in the comments section, and that's absolutely fine. You can make a video response if you want to. But, again, it's a sad day, but, you know, rejoice and talk about all of its awesomeness, you know, because, well, it brought about a whole bunch. So, anyway, I'll conclude this. Like always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on. You know, I'm thinking... Everybody ought to pick up the last couple issues of Nintendo Power and make it a booming success. I'm dead serious. I mean, you've only you got September, October, November, and December. Okay, that's only four issues. I say everybody pick them up. Seriously, I'm going to. Fuck it. it that's one of the things. It's just like, you know what? I want this to go out on a high note. I want them to realize that people still do give a damn about it. So, at least that's my plan. You know, if you don't got the money for it, shit happens. But still, I, I do. I want to see it live on in digital form if it has to be. So, yeah. Also, the Club Nintendo idea. I, I do like that. Just imagine all special editions. Oh, that'd be fucking cool. Nintendo... Hear these ideas. Hear these, please. Hear these prayers. Oh, make this happen. Seriously. Ah, we'll miss you, Nintendo Power. Alpha Mega Sin heart you. Big time.